Okay, so today we are going to uh, solve a problem that took me a while to figure out, and that was how to do double-sided printing on a printer that does not automatically do it. Um, and I use Word, and I have a ton, uh, and by ton I mean literally thousands of pages to print out, and I don't want to print out 2,500 pages of individual single-sided sheets of paper. It's a waste of uh, it's a waste of paper so I did a little research and I figured out the best way to do double-sided printing on a printer that doesn't support it is basically as follows so we're gonna start out by um, opening up our document and we're gonna say it's already formatted and ready to go so what we're going to do in Word uh, we're going to go up here to file We'll go down to print and this is the screen that pops up on a Mac and we are uh, using a Mac with the latest OS X on here and so this is the standard screen that pops up now you see there's no option to do any kind of double-sided printing and if you go into your layout section you will see that two-sided is grayed out, which means the printer does not support it. Otherwise, you'd be able to choose long edge binding or short edge binding here, and it'll automatically print double-sided for you. Now, since we don't have those options, here is the workaround. Okay, so we'll go back to the main page. This is what you see when you start up. You're going to go to Microsoft Word, and you're going to select the odd pages only first and then we'll go ahead and print this and I will show you the result of that momentarily okay I apologize for the sound outside they're doing some construction out in the uh, parking lot but as you can see we are printing the odd pages only and this is an Epson EcoTank 2720, it does not offer double-sided printing by default. So you have to do manual, which is what we're discussing. It's a great printer. Um, it holds definitely a lot of ink, but uh, I will show you the end result of this uh, odd page only printing. And then we'll show you the next step on how to double-side it. Okay. So we have now printed out the odd pages and the print orientation has come out as you can see. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your papers as you see them. Make sure they're facing towards your printer. This is where it gets tricky. You want them, here's the face of your paper, okay? You want it facing towards your printer. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate it 180 degrees so that it's going to go into the feed tray upside down. Okay, so into the feed tray upside down. And if you want, go ahead and remove your blank sheets. And now we'll go back to the computer and we will print the even pages. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back in Word. We just finished printing the odd pages. We're gonna go back into print. We're gonna go back down to Microsoft Word. And this time we're gonna select the even pages. And since we've already loaded the pages in the printer. We're going to go ahead and select print. Now this is going to print on the back side of the odd pages and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so as you can see, we're printing the back side, the even pages of our document and I like removing the excess paper from the tray 
uh, because this allows me to see just how much is left to print so that I don't cancel it prematurely or you know, if there's an error, if something happens, I know exactly where um, it's happening without a, all that extra paper in the background. But, um, so I wanna show you real quick. This document here is a stack of papers that I did single-sided only, okay? And it's obviously um, a waste of paper, but I did it on accident and I figured, oh, well, this would be a good video. Uh, this is about 20 something pages, okay? So obviously by printing double-sided, you cut that in half, literally. So with that, we're almost done printing, and then I will show you how it turned out. Okay, so real quickly, this is page two. Turn the page, there's page three, there's page four. All the alignment and everything is still in order. Five and six. And it's as easy as that, but it does take a little bit of work because you're gonna have to figure out your, uh, your printer and how your feed mechanism works. But this is specifically for my printer. Um, it should work with all printers. But um, yeah, so there you go. If you didn't know how to do that manually, now you do. All right, hope you learned something. On to the next.